Hey, hi, this is Vignesh Kumar from VAT University Velo. In this video, I am talking about how to do the multispectral imagery classification, especially ATM Plus. In this Landsat ATM Plus images, first one you can be able to see that is blue band, next one is green band, next one is red band. Next is infrared, next is very near infrared region is there, next is uh, thermal region, next is also a short wave infrared region, next is uh, pan images. Okay. Now look at that. How to do that? ATM plus images. Okay. In this ATM plus images, it is freely available in at explorer.esgs.gov website. It is not a problem. You can able to download that and in this processing also i am taking that nv nv only nv 5.3 version actually in this etm place images it contain with some uh, black lines it is called as scan line when the scan line correction is on data is available from 1999 to 2003 only the scan line day correction of data is available from 2003 to still now uh, now I am going to process one image. Okay, wait. This takes time sign. Okay, now we are going to open image. Normal previous time we have what we do now? Open one image and see that uh, grayscale layer. After that, we are going to do that uh, layer stacking. After that, we are going to do that uh, red uh, red green blue band as in that region and load that uh, color in this SLC correction can able to done using the gaffle tool just search it up. Yeah. normally it is not available for that reason you must download landsat gaffle.sav file first after that you must install it next Wait, I will guide you how to do that. This is Landsat Gaffield.sav file. It is developed in ideal language. Now you can go to the program files, Excelsis, NV53, and extension. Here, just paste this Landsat underscore Gaffield.sav file. It is ideal file. After that, just close that. Now you can able to open this NV file mix. Now you can able to visualize this Landsat Gaffel too. Right. Okay. Now it's loader. Now just see that Gaffel. Ah, here. The Landsat Gaffel tool will come now. Fill that in the action file. Okay. Now load that uh, Landsat TM file. I just save that in Clash Multi. Uh, don't load uh, one by one. Directly load this MTL file only. Now you can able to see that in this layer number of black lines is there. It is scale line. We can able to done the correction using the land landfill. Sorry, gap fill. You can able to see that data management, the multispectral, thermal, and panchromatic. It's saved separately, and the layer stacking is also done. So we can we no need do anything and just give gaffet to remove that particular layer of the black line to the line fill okay now we must choose the output of the file name first the class multi output Well, once again, gap fill. Okay. Now then, give OK. 
and give that file it will take some time for processing mm, after that the scan line will be corrected this process is done by using adjust uh, the values using the nearest neighborhood pixels when the nearest neighborhood pixels is just like that 10 another one is 12 that it will add two values 10 plus 12 is equal to 22 and divided by 2 then they will fix the values around 11 it's just a averaging function okay wait it's going to complete now the gap fills function is operating and the scan lines are removed you can able to see that and the swipe function also you can able to see that the total scan lines are removed now okay thanks for watching if you like this video means please subscribe me